Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're now watching Knowing Me, Knowing Yule with Alan Partridge, the Christmas special. I'm Armando Iannucci. I'm Patrick Marber. I'm Rebecca Front. I'm Dune McKeon. I'm Dave Schneider. And Steve Brown. And uh, Alan can't be with us today. Um, he's had to go home because he's just heard he's got bats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and this was the Christmas special that uh, we recorded, I think it was two years after the series, wasn't it? And I remember I had a very, very heavy cold and was miserable all the way through it. Yeah. Really? You don't remember that? No. no. Well, I kept it quiet. Mm, I'm sure you did. Oh, you went on and on and on about how the show was too long all the time. Did I? I think we've got to take out the piping pipers. <laughs> right. Oh, we've got to take this out. So Wasn't that Alan that went on? <laughs> <laughs> Getting Alan confused. We've got to take Alan out. That yeah. green sofa still exists somewhere. Yeah, it's in my props. house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you chat on it? Yeah, yeah. We only chat on that. We right. don't chat anywhere else in the house. Oh, I see. Do if you my live husband with starts Alan a conversation, I tell him not to chat until he's sitting on the sofa. Brilliant. Has anyone got a leather sofa in there? It's house? important to have discipline, Patrick. No. <clears throat> that costs fifty thousand pounds. That snow. <laughs> right now, have a look at this mime. Right. Yeah. <laughs> look at look at the direction of the arrow when fired, and then look at the direction. Right. Look. Yeah. yeah it's all wrong. See. It's wrong, isn't he it? He needs yeah. to go to Le Coq in Paris and get that sort of thing. I think the arrow like bounced Dave's off Snyder. something. Maybe um, that's true, yes. Or, or see the p person be hit by the arrow that's, collapsing onto the ground. Who am I to quibble with the comic genius? <laughs> see Armando sitting on the sofa with a beard? <laughs> it's not me. No, it isn't. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Dennis de Groot, the designer's brother. Is it? <laughs> yes. Is it really? Yes. Beautiful set. Categorically. <laughs> now, does it look like he's got a bit of dandruff, or is it is that okay? Yes, no. Where we've built an exact replica reproduction of the interior of my house. Please don't take that as a green light to go to Norwich and burgle my actual house. <laughs> I think we're meant to talk over this, aren't we? Yes, right? yes. 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 I just explained so to the newcomers. Here. I'm just enjoying watching it. Um, I haven't yes. seen it for eight years. Mm -hmm. Can we just mention at this point that the woman sitting on the sofa is the marvellous Susie Gautier Smith, who we all adored, oh. who died very sadly. She was very young. Um, but anyway, I wasn't trying to bring everybody down. I just yeah. thought it would mention because there she is in full view yes, in all true, her yes. glory. She was the casting lovely. director for the whole series, and she was brilliant. Yeah. And she did know everyone in she the did. country. <laughs> yes. And she's and wearing. Nobody a... had a bad word to say. She's no, wearing. Yes, she's wearing. Yes, great she's wig. wearing an amazing wig there. <laughs> she's blonde. Talking about amazing wigs, there, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably my real hair, wasn't it? Actually. <laughs> you don't think it was. <laughs> That's was it? Something you no, weren't I, wearing. I on never that. did my own hair in those days. <laughs> Is that your own that. hair? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> And one of the very the... earliest mentions of child pornography in a mainstream comedy coming what up. What was that? No, I was just going to say it's nice to be on a television show that's not all about, you know, swearing and child pornography. And it comes from you, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Well done. Have you seen Noel's House Party? Yes. That's the kind of show this is. Keep it light, right? Have you, have you had a mince pie? No. Have a mince pie. I, I was just saying... Have that... a mince pie. <laughs> It was uh, rather fun, oh, I uh, if I remember, the, uh, the, the bell ringing being put together. Yeah. Was, uh, was there yeah. a, a professional bell ringer there? Uh, was there one, did you say? Yeah. They, I can't they remember. were the Brighton Bottle Orchestra, weren't they? That's all right. They, we yeah. practised yes, yes. with bottles. <laughs> I can't quite remember how we made the transfer to bells, but <laughs> we did somehow. Yeah. What's the name of the band in this one? It's, uh, I've just gone solo. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah just a kind of one-man thing. We just stayed in, didn't we? <laughs> just That's push up. the old gay buttons if in doubt. Isn't it? Oh, very pleasant, very pleasant. Except on Boxing Day, when I chopped a man's head off and stuck it on a spike. There's um, Tom Bins, that, yeah. that guy, yeah. who subsequently <laughs> did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Such as? Yeah. Really I'm really glad well. we've got you around, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you be? He was a DJ on Kiss. Oh, XFM. 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 Yeah, he was sacked. Was uh, he? Yeah, he was uh, sacked. Uh, unjustifiably. Unjustifiably. Yeah. Glenn Ponder and Andy. We to... Who was Andy? Tom, Tom Binns. Yeah. And wasn't he on Rise yeah, he or something? <laughs> on the Channel 4 Breakfast? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Warm up. I saw him doing a warm-up. I saw him doing a warm-up. I think it's something he did. And I, and I said, you were my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Oh, now, Rebecca, we auditioned for those parts, do you remember? We never got those we didn't parts, get did them. we? No, it was a source of bitterness. <laughs> it was a very lengthy audition, I seem to remember. It was. <laughs> yeah. You'll notice the one on the right is, in fact, Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind pulling one of those. <laughs> now, uh, while the girls whet our appetite, who's going to provide us with the meat? Well, it's a TV chef that with a cardigan is the kind of cardigan that you expect to see Dan Ruff on, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It comes with its own Dan. And a Parker Knoll. Barry Thomas. The marvellous Kevin Eldon. This is actually a man, isn't and, it? And, um... Lily Savage happened at this point. I think was she this... was around. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, he was around. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've just destroyed a few illusions for people there. Yeah, you? sorry. <laughs> David Average is a man. It's another one. <laughs> and, and Pauline Calf. <laughs> Surely a not. No. <laughs> is a man. I can't yeah. believe that. He's a man. He was very proud that in the uh, Paul and Pauline Calf uh, book that they did. That he said, look at this, and he showed me the, the centrefold of Pauline Carr. Right, uh, the naked thing. Yeah. He said, those are actually my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, how? And he said, well, I just kind of pushed them forward. I just oh. put them... <laughs> Have you ever secretly dressed as a woman, Armando? Have I ever secretly yeah. dressed as a woman? Uh, I did have to dress up once for... Uh, it was Friday Night Armistice. Me and Peter Bainham had to dress up as women and go and distract the workers on the Millennium Dome. <laughs> and we found ourselves, after filming, having to just walk back down a busy main highway <laughs> as women to the van where we and changed. Did anyone and did it change your politics? People did look at us, but it, <clears throat> it was quite liberating in a way. Because I, I yes. learned a whole new walk. Did you? I, sp I remember spending the afternoon trying to walk like a woman. Were men looking at your face when they talked to you? <laughs> No. <laughs> you have know, that Dustin Hoffman kind of thing of, yeah. of, of, of resenting the fact that no one found you attractive. Yeah, mm. yeah. Don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, reminds me of my boyfriend last night. That's, that, that, that's too many. <laughs> Meanwhile, back now, at the show. Have you ever dressed as a man, do you? My house is open to all no, don't I don't think I have. It's not, it's not the same, is it? Play? I can't remember. It's not the same, no. Dick Whittington, I think. It's about the only man. Can we just have you for a second? There you are. Um, yes. Talking of wigs. <laughs> yes, that isn't my own hair. But in fact, he's my new phenomenal boss, forehead. The new chief commissioning editor of BBC Television, Mr. Tony Hares. The suit is brilliant. Yeah. It's so not the real Tony Hares. BBC, isn't it? <laughs> just bear in mind, all this is a fiction. What you're watching is a fiction. K M A P K Y T H. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, a. Sorry? A, uh, abbreviation for aha. Uh -huh. No, no, I, I don't want you to do that. I, I, Ooh, a bit I, of glare I, on the old clipboard there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been sorted out in post-production. Digitally, you can probably remove that now, couldn't you? Yes. No, that was put on. CGI. Look at that! Uh, industrial that light magic that sort that out. Banging out! I can't <laughs> see you blinded. It was actually put on. <laughs> it was put on afterwards, because yeah. it's a slightly bad chat show. Ooh. You were chairman of Euro International Airlines, and whilst you were there, you sacked over 2,000 people. <laughs> Man eating in the background. Yeah, he's got no one to talk to. He's just completely <laughs> isolated. He was someone's he just, friend. Who, the was guy he? with the dark hair? He's yeah, he's yeah. that bloke standing there. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? He's <laughs> someone's friend. There's also yeah. a stand up next to him. The guy Alan Francis. Yes. Yeah, he's Alan. got a line. Yeah. He's got a line later. Yeah, he's he says rabbit yeah. and ding dong, doesn't That's he? Right. Yeah. 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 And he is. In Tony Hares, life. this is a good trivia one. Tony Hares is the longest running character in all Alan partridging, apart from Alan. Because he's in the radio he's show. In the, that's right, yes. And he's in this, and he's in I'm Alan Partridge. That's right. And then he's killed. And then he's dead. Oh, wait, Which you know, really, Alan really Alan? upset me. <laughs> and I begged Armando to have a bit of ghost material in the second <laughs> Alan Partridge series. But... You could do the early Tony Hares years. Could be an idea. Yeah. Well, well you think there's got to be a series in yeah. Tony Hairs, yeah. surely. A lot of Him spoofs sort of... of pilots and programmes that Tony Hairs commissioned while he was at the BBC. Yes. Mm. Well, I'm available. <laughs> Who is that man who's still there, still watching? Yeah. I'm sorry, I put you on the spot there. I'm sorry. I'm It's a very funny idea having to stand Lots of eye makeup there, isn't it? Sorry. Yes. On Steve, on Alan. Yeah. 
Oh, good. I thought you meant the second series. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Now, now Christmas at home. <laughs> What's the man <laughs> eating now? That man is He's oh, frowning at it. The Jews are good line is coming up. All right. Yeah. The decision. <laughs> you mean the decision's been taken? Decisions are made and unmade all the time, Alan. Right, so the decision might not have been made. <laughs> the decision is pending. What you're saying is if tonight's show goes well, I will get a second series. I haven't said you'd be upset when uh, your character don't was anything, killed off, yeah. David, yes. but uh, I, I, for one, was glad to see him <laughs> die. <laughs> is that because of the character or because of my work? You? No, it's just, 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 just personal. No, just the character. It's, it's really... Really kind of sets you on Alan's side, I think. Patrick's favourite line. Yeah. Jews are good. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, Tony Hairs, Jew. <laughs> You're corpsing there, aren't you? And, well, <laughs> you are. You are. No, it's acting. <laughs> Wait, is Tony no, Hairs faking very amusement? Faking amusement. No, you look very uncomfortable. Oh, he's talk. got someone to talk to, that bloke, now. <laughs> Good, because it was spoiling the show for me. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching that bloke. He's, that he's very good. natural, though. Yeah. He's not... Yeah. No-one's told him we're shooting a show. Just... Oh, and he's talking to the Christmas cracker. <laughs> Listen, love, we chatted earlier, but you must remember, you are a peripheral guest. So no, 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 I think that's a salient point. It's, it's worth hearing. Can't be peripheral. Good Played by Rebecca Front. Exactly, yeah. Let's hear the salient point. Bring her on. Come and join us. Can we, can we get a drink for the, for the Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Now, ironically, you're not, are you? No. no. You always get me to play Christians. I played Christian in, in the oh, second... Oh, in the day today. It, really? and also, yes, I did. Yeah. And also in um, the last Alan Partridge series. Mm. Just oh, yes, of course, yes. Just, just to clear that so up, Rebecca is, is, in fact, a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I could be if I chose to be. Yes, you could. <laughs> and you might need to choose to be. She's a woman of be. many faiths. <laughs> She's a bit too faithed. <laughs> he's on his, own, on again. his own again. <laughs> he's looking oh, for something to do yeah, on yeah. the... Um, yeah. But he's completely but relaxed about it. We're getting a lot of shots as well of that bloke's pelvis behind... Mm. Just me who's noticed that. <laughs> Can I just sort this out with all of you? Are, are you just not enjoying the show? <laughs> <laughs> because you since you've come in here, you've picked people. endless holes in it. <laughs> I just think I, you I'm enjoying it, I just can't hear it through all this blather. <laughs> I'm trying to watch it. Stop talking, we can sit back and watch it, shall we? Be quiet for a bit. No, we're not just, allowed just to. Press the we have play to button Especially because I'm on now. <laughs> we have to endlessly... Excuse me, I got a round of applause yes. and I have no idea why. What did I say? It doesn't matter, you got a round of applause, that's yeah. all that counts. I'll ask you really what, what you intend to do about all the filth. It's not his fault, leave him alone! <laughs> well, I, I'd like to deal with this. Let him speak! <laughs> <laughs> the BBC has a brief and part of that brief is to provide an opportunity for provocative, innovative, experimental drama. a round drama. of applause something to do with you... I mean, I, I don't know what it's something to do with you uh, keeping your, your virginity until such time as you were married. It's something off the back of that. It's all right, we'll be able to find out. Yes, that's true, isn't it? Because you, you, you don't have to just watch it once. No. <laughs> you can find out what Rebecca said by looking up on the internet, I think. Now. I think they're going to do that. Someone's going to do that for us now. Oh, he's watching the show now, that bloke. I don't mean to go on about that bloke, but. Listen, <laughs> love. The BBC might be many things, but porn it ain't. <laughs> the only way you can get access to hardcore pornography is if you mail off for a satellite smart card decoder. Then you're in business. Right, who wrote that? Was that you, Patrick? <laughs> Certainly not. Did you have Some the technology at your fingertips for that Steve. line? That would have been Steve. Yeah, that would have been Steve. have been trying to get Steve. that line in yeah. every show. He came, and he was the bamboo-backed gauze... What was it? <laughs> the tours. <laughs> tours. <laughs> in the radio yes. series. He knew all about that. Yeah. yeah. You know, sp spatch... No. <laughs> no, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> I'd just like to say that I think it's really nice that we're here to celebrate Christmas. This is a Christmas show, and it's celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ and his incarnation as a human being. N no, it's not. It, it's, <laughs> it, it's knowing me, knowing you with Alan Partridge. And Christ. Christ isn't in the title. It's, <laughs> it's not knowing me, knowing you with Jesus Christ. Do you believe in God, Alan? Yes. What is he? God is... Uh, 
a, a gas. <laughs> Who's responsible for that? <laughs> <It's theology. laughs> What does that mean? Well, that sounds yeah, like I mean, Catholic, I, he's not small, I, I though. think not like Steve was always obsessed with the idea of God being a gas. It's <laughs> <laughs> something big, you know, like, 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 like. We've been trying to put that in for quite a while. I no, I think I'll have that line. <laughs> I, I can hear Patrick yeah, saying I think, it. <laughs> I think it's. I could have uh, been Pat. Alan Partridge. <laughs> God is <laughs> a gas. Is there? Yes, there is. There's someone at the door. Santa. Santa. Oh, let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Now, this is Carl, isn't it? A Santa. Carl Ford Jorney. Who was yes. also the brilliant Bull Brummy That's lecturer right, yeah. who went Bull Brummy yeah. in a very funny way from the audience. Do you not think it might be possible, Patrick, for somebody else to play this character one day? I mean, like, Batman's just been going to be played by Christian Bale, isn't it? I mean, after Lots of people play Santa Claus. Well, you mean, you think I could be Alan Partridge? Pa Alan Partridge, yes. Yes, in pantomime, certainly. <laughs> could have a go. <laughs> you don't do was... Amdram productions, don't you? Or if it was playing in two different territories at yes. once. You could be Alan as well. I could be, you know, if the character's strong enough, surely it yes. could withstand yeah. reinterpretation. Yes. No, that's true. I could be North North Europe, Alan. Yes. And, uh... The thing that impressed me most was the overall economy. <laughs> I mean, 38.4 miles to the gallon... This was, was all written by Steve, this bit. I think makes the it a cars. Leader. <laughs> that's absolutely right. What car was Father Steve Christ driving at the time? <laughs> A little sporty... I think well, he, he, had, he had that Mazda MX-5, the that's, hairdresser's car. That's right, with all his CDs with and With his naughty gear knob, if you recall. Yeah. He was very proud of that. But I think by this point in time, he was much richer. Ford Fiesta. Had, and then he had... Um, i trying to remember what he had after the Mazda. And I want you to meet this character. His name is Alan. He didn't have the Fezzer yet. Well, what's he got now? Stop that's talking about cars. No, had, <laughs> well, la last time I saw him, he had a Volvo. Family hatchback. Yeah. But I don't believe you. He must have had a sports car hidden somewhere. I think he had a porker when we made this. Yes, he might have. I think he had a porker. But you had a nice car in those days, didn't you? I had an Alpha Spider. Oh, yes, with your little dog and you and yes. the spider around This is terrible. Well, what did you drive? I had a Vauxhall Astra. I had a Ford I, Fiesta. I had a Talbot Horizon. <laughs> you did? I remember that car. <laughs> Orange. Becca, what did you have? Well, when we were doing this, yeah. I think I had a... I know what I had, actually. I had a sporty little Peugeot something or other mm. with a, a turbo, and I remember Steve being really patronising about it because I gave him a lift once, and he said, what do you want with a turbo? <laughs> <laughs> You're a lady. <laughs> Looks so out of date, that now, yeah. doesn't it? Was that state of the art then? It's pre DVD. Yeah. This thing we're recording now yes. didn't exist. Yes. Yeah. We didn't exist. <laughs> Norwich, city of mustard. <laughs> Quite a nice time going to Norwich and doing this. After the bombing Is it a city of mustard? Yeah, Coleman's mustard. Huh? We filmed in Norwich. And shoes. Hmm? Yes, we've worked in Norwich, yes. Well, I was... Uh... <laughs> Look at those Brilliant. shorts. Digital telecom headset communicator. <laughs> Do you remember I got a terrible telling off in Norwich? I wasn't there when you were told off, but I remember... What for? Who by? Rebecca and I did a corporate vid <laughs> oh, God. in Norwich with Robert Bathurst and... Uh, Mike Fenton Michael Stevens. Michael Janine Fenton Davitsky. Davitsky. This is Janine Davitsky. Um, and someone else. Carlin and Dunsa. A whole load of people. Yeah, Carlin. And what we don't get care to the, about uh... the thespians. We care about you getting told off. I was late. Uh, That's it. Uh, <laughs> for the first time in my career, <laughs> I, I hasten to add. But not the last. And I got a terrible bollocking from the um, <laughs> producer, was it? Or the floor manager or, or someone? Floor manager. It was very, very... Did you hang your head or did you give as good as you got? Well, I deserved the bollocking, but he went beyond... Right. Uh, he went into the, the bounds, domain the of bollocks. rudeness <laughs> and aggression. <laughs> right. So I hung my head and then I raised my head yeah. and snarled back. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I'd been there. These were yeah. genuinely ill children. Really? In a hospital? Really? So, yeah. Oh. I love this. I hope they miss them. Because we're not allowed to go to Norwich now. The mayor of Norwich has said hmm? all sorts of terrible things about... Oh, that you've brought in... Alan Partridge, yeah. It's made Norwich a laughing stock. It's... I think Norwich has survived Alan Partridge. I very think well. so. I've got some friends who are called the Partridges. 
That's their surname. And yeah. I never mention this no. to them, and they never mention it. No, is really? it? Really? Is it a blight? Well, I just wonder if it's affected them. And I once read a mm. very, very erudite letter in the New Statesman about Britain's foreign policy in relation to Iraq. And then at the very end, it just said, you sincerely, Alan Partridge, <laughs> Suffolk. And there instantly is, you... I have seen, in, so when I was up in Suffolk, I yeah. saw advertised, I don't know if it's the same bloke who wrote the letter, an Alan Partridge, who has a carpenter yeah. in general house, not what's it called, house, things around the house. Yeah. Uh, he lives in Norwich, so maybe oh, it's the oh, same. No. Maybe he avoided putting Norwich and put Suffolk, because he knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wanted so to get a bit of respect. come up with names of characters, you don't really think what the implications are going well, to be Well, I just anyone, used Liz though. Heron as my friend. <laughs> And she's called Liz Heron, and she was appalled. Oh. Yeah, well, Bridie McMahon. Yeah. Who, who played Bridie yeah. McMahon? Uh, yeah, Bridie, Bridie, Bridie. Yeah. Bridie. She's, uh, she's at the London Library. Oh, really? I realised that's where we got the name from, is to, um, I just joined the London Library. Real names are so much Bridie better. McMahon. Yeah, they are. It's a what lovely name, though, Bridie mm. McMahon. I know, she's beautiful. Travis Davely. In the, uh, <laughs> I defy you to find Travis Davely. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Dave, what was he in Day to Day? He was in the <laughs> made that <laughs> ex nightmare. execution thing. Oh, I like this, this when he talks about idea. the action. The action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a lovely idea. I still talk about actions. Yeah, oh, this is. I remember this was just Steve improvising. Yeah. Me. Nice action. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I genuinely use action to try and prove that I know what I'm talking yeah. about yeah. in yeah. shops like that. That is a very nice action. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it again. We're doing that laughing at the jokes thing. It's a quality action. What do you think that little bit of silver mesh fuzzball is? It's Christmas decoration. Is it? Yeah. I've got one there. The only one in the whole film. It's, it's brilliant. Was this film though producing, before Christmas? reminding us that it's Christmas. Oh, yes. Yes, look, yes there's, there's a gold one. Yeah. There's a bit of it's tinsel. not exactly gone to town. These were the actual um, staff. Yeah. They were very excited. <laughs> and his face, uh -oh. he really winced when they yeah, dropped that, didn't he? Yeah. He's like, it's not... Well, because he has to sell it later on. <laughs> yeah, it's like a monkey. <laughs> a big gibbon. But I know who I truly am. I'm Alan Partridge. <laughs> Did they know who he was when he walked in? Yes. If they heard him? Yes. Well, it's Christmas Eve. All the good deeds are done. Don't tell Steve that we that. Along with the Spats and the Toyota Starlet. <laughs> he looks quite young there, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Um, Steve would be happy that we've been talking about cars, I think. Yeah. Make it sound as if he's dead. <laughs> That's what he would have wanted. He, <laughs> he would have wanted. He would have wanted a nice discussion about yeah. cars. Here's the cars he drove. <laughs> <laughs> he does a strange, strange little look. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's life is like that now. Yes. Sure yeah. He made it happen. Yeah. I bet he has got three garages. Probably has. In three different towns. Yeah. A garage in every port. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, the mince pies are off. Don't eat the mince pies. <laughs> Tony, I hope you're going to sort out the BBC catering. I'll make it my top priority, Alan. Although there are other things that I will be addressing. So, sorry, can I just interrupt you there? Um, <coughs> Mary, can I ask you to eat less noisily? <laughs> I remember this coming up in the improvisation. Yeah. Because I'd actually... I came straight from rehearsal to something else, to the, to the rehearsal session for this. And I was starving. And the only thing there was to eat was Boaster biscuits. And I could just remember Steve... I wasn't aware how noisily I was eating them. And Steve just breaking off the improvisation. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Can you shut, shut up? You look I like can't you, think. You look like you were about to call I think I was. Looking into, um, for example, um, product placement. What's product placement? It's when a presenter abuses his or her position to um, advertise a specific <laughs> product. <laughs> I see that as a <laughs> severe face. breach of contract, and um, it'll be punished with instant dismissal. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, Tony! Oh, great. Ho, ho. Present, thank you. Don't open that now. Lovely. Don't open that now. Don't open that now. What is it? Um, the audience are on to it. Yes. Yeah. It's a rover. That's probably because it's the third time we've filmed that bit. Not now, Mike. Um, I'm going to have some mulled wine. Um, Glenn. Well, where's Glenn, the blood gone? Oh, <laughs> oh, no thanks, Alan. I'm, I'm fine. Right. 
Um, does your friend Andy want some? No, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> great, <laughs> great the way he strokes his arm as well. You, know, you, you just let me know, all right? I'll have some out. Get your own. He's very good. ram a dam ding dong How are you? Looking for the mold, mold well, there's a bizarre oh. conversation coming out. I don't think this went out yeah. on the telly. But, but the hobnobs. Yeah. We had about three. Probably Being a fly on the wall in the biscuit factory. Quite interesting, Boaters. I mean, three years ago, hobnobs were probably the number one biscuit. I used to um, eat and enjoy Boasters up until this point, and then that <laughs> kind of made me think they're probably quite naff. What is the number one biscuits now? Yeah. Oh, my biscuit days are behind me. I think it's gone back to regressed, a bit like Jaffa cakes and stuff. Gone back to sort of 70s. Tungsten tea cakes. Nostalgia's back in, yeah. I'm not implying that there are flies. By the way, I'm not implying that flies are on the She's not an actress, by the way. But she's listening brilliantly to. Brilliantly nodding. She's doing a very good job. Who is she? Good listening. Marvellous. She's a Christmas cracker. Don't forget, Mick Hucknall coming up later on, but time now for my star guest. Ah, oh. uh, apart from Mick there's Matt, there's Susie's yeah. husband. Yeah. There. Who is the man with her? I think they were all Susie's friends. That's actually. right, yes. yes. So they are actually having got a real conversation. A real Christmas party. Yes. Matt looks very 60s, quite handsome. Five o'clock, she cancelled. <laughs> Who cancelled? Don't know. Get the DVD. On the internet, quick. Oh, it's us, Dean. <laughs> it's us. Yeah. Uh, do you remember how worried we were about me playing someone disabled? Yeah. I remember having to... There were, there were, there was a, there was a very uppity disability lobby that got yeah. in touch afterwards but it... <laughs> and said, why wasn't it a genuinely disabled actor? I think the original reason was because we actually wanted to do a film of you playing yes, golf. We were going to have pre, film playing golf in my pre injured days. Film. Yeah. And then we cut that bit. Yeah. Another great wig. Look at our wigs. Yeah. We look like Dollar. That's not a wig. Uh, that's <laughs> very funny. <laughs> you kept that dress, did you, Dean? <laughs> that was actually my own dress because it's a pregnancy was it? dress. Because I was pregnant. Oh, yeah. Again. Again. And we worked that in. We did. You're Gordon Hansel and Liz Gretel. <laughs> Allow me, if you will, to be Hans Christian Allen Partisan. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time in November 1993, a young golfer was on the age. It's a shame this is the last of the chat show. The picture behind Patrick's they're quite funny. Well, no, it, it sort of. Well, no. It sort of kind of got into its swing in this one, I think. Yeah. Bring it back. You know, as a as a, as a vehicle for Alan. Yeah. Alan would have been quite pleased yeah. with this one. A lot of thought had gone into it. Sort of felt felt a bit like. <laughs> the ginger tash is. I might, I might get a ginger tash. Didn't lie down like a dog and become a bitter and twisted, hate-filled lunatic. He picked himself up, and the tradition of many other heroic disabled people, Lord Nelson, Napoleon, Ironside, Daniel Day-Lewis, Captain Rule of Three. <laughs> and two years later, Liz Gretel puttered her way to glory in the Colgate Cup. And just last week, she was named Lady Sports Personality of the Year. I think you came to me for the golfing trivia. Do you remember? Because I lived, used, you to, live have, used to live on Wentworth Golf Course. And yes. you said, what was the world match play? And it was always Piccadilly yeah. Cigarettes or Colgate. I remember. Oh, right. Have you played ever, Dean? No. Nah. Could do a bit of swinging, but I can't. Pitching part. Nah. Yeah, I wasn't genuinely expecting that bit of conversation to go mm. anywhere. <laughs> Crazy golf. Yes. <laughs> what about a millipede? Millipede's got a million legs. No, a thousand. What's got a million legs then? A thousand millipedes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, um, it doesn't seem fair. That's quite it? good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true as well. <laughs> I'll be telling Comedy that to my five-year-old yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then God gives other things, like people, only two legs. Well, God's probably got lots of legs himself. Yeah, I said, God's a gas. Um, <laughs> probably got gas legs. Yeah. That, that, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Liz, lovely Liz. Much though I respect uh, professional golfers, I have to say, I do find the sport incredibly dull. 
<laughs> Isn't he rude? Now, golf's a great sport. It's actually one of the world's most traditional... Yeah, I mean, people said that about Alan, that he never got in with the golf celeb set. Yes, you'd expect him to be there, wouldn't you? Do you think Steve oh, plays golf now with... <laughs> with Brian Ferry. Well, there's a bonding moment here, isn't there, between Alan and... <laughs> 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 Liz is potted history. She's very dim, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. It's very traditional and exciting sport, and dull it is not. Mm. <laughs> Gordon, do you get out much? <laughs> when I can. <laughs> I mean, do you have any hobbies now you have all this time on your hands? Yeah, I like making maps. Oh, right, what, what? Ordnance survey maps, A to Zads, what, what, what? No, maps of uh, imaginary places, you know. What, what do you mean? Well, I, I create them, you know, like uh, a mountain or a, a pond, maybe a little stream. Right. But do, I mean, do you, do you hang them on the wall or...? No, I don't draw them. They're in my head. They're imaginary. <laughs> right. <laughs> are, are they any use? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Good. Well, into that oh. painting, there's a painting of Alan, isn't there? Yeah, with it. It's to do with well. was it Alan's was daughter? Above the green sofa. Was it Denise that had drawn yes, it? Yes, I think it was. Can't remember if we put that in. Dennis will have it. Do you think Steve has got it? <laughs> Look at the painting behind yes, um, his a, head. That's very... Um, looks like a big... I think it's a... A lady part. Ladies' yes. area. It's yeah. a woman's area. It's a woman's area, yeah. Oh, that's right. It was his daughter's. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yes. Look at it. Is <laughs> it ever referred to? I do. I can't remember. Something to look forward to, though, isn't it? Well, whether it's referred to. Yeah. Or not. Let's just see. It will be. <laughs> right. Well, um, Gordon. In the past, you know, before the. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you, I mean, do, what I mean is, you know, do you still have an eye for the fairer sex? Oh, yeah, still chase the ladies, but I'll stop when they get to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but, but like a Dalek. <laughs> can't, can't go up the stairs. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not comparing you, I'm not comparing you to a Dalek. You know. you're, you're, you're more like Davros, the leader of the Daleks. <laughs> so half, half human, half Dalek. I'm sorry, I'm deeply <laughs> sorry. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, now, you're married to Liz. Um, there's no escaping. Do you think that. he's very influenced by the <laughs> David Brent character from The Office? Yes, yes. Yeah. I think he yeah. certainly he's yeah. Yeah. altered his whole performance since The Office has yeah. come out for the DVD. Yeah. Do you know, I've absolutely no idea. <laughs> I didn't say that with any bitterness. No. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? Yeah. Maybe we should commentate on The Office DVD. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'd welcome it. He's going to mention the painting. I think it's coming up now. Apparently, the Office DVD didn't do that well. Is that true? Yeah, it only sold 300 copies. Amanda's actually jumping for joy at the moment. You're insane. The Office is the most successful thing and brilliant thing that's ever been made. There's no point. There's no point, mate. They beat us. They're better than us. Accept it, move on. But our Office... Mm. On the day to day. Oh, the office on yeah. the day to day. Now, if we'd was only better. done that yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. Why that didn't we think of that? With the pig. With the, with the pig. pig. With the pig. With that, if we we'd made that series, series we'd we be should have done rolling pig. in it. So we're we saying that the office is better than Partridge, is that what we're yeah. saying? Yeah, <laughs> but our office on the day to day was better than their whole okay. series. Yes. So That's if you bought the Partridge DVD, you really should have bought the Office DVD instead, if you haven't, is yeah. that what you're saying? Although I'm told that the commentary on this Partridge DVD is better than the one in the Office. OK. OK, but does that make <laughs> the programme better? You. Yeah, but apparently the best bit is the last five minutes coming up. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, I'm looking forward to, I look forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Mick Cucknell. There's yeah. some very good commentary around him. <laughs> It says here an announcement. What's that about? Oh, that's me. I'm pregnant. Ladies and gentlemen. How did that feel? And you were. Oh, and I, I was mean, pregnant. No, we had to write it into the park. So I was. You don't look it there, though. No, you don't. I think like some sitting down, and I've got a scarf. Scarf. I think you were paranoid that you looked it. You've been yes. told to it. No, I was. <laughs> I don't think you look it. And best wishes to both of you, and a, and a special congratulations to to you, Gordon. <clears throat> well done. Patrick, you look a bit pregnant, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Need for that. Did you really think I was pregnant when you walked in? 
No. No. Okay. I can have sex. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm not saying. I can still shag. Please, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean that I don't feel like sexual desire don't anymore. Have to talk about I actually it. feel more sexual desire now ever since I've been in a wheelchair than, than before. I'm, I'm a better lover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. They don't want to hear about people feeling lust I don't, because I don't, they're disabled. Please, please, don't give me please, please. please. <laughs> look, look, no, 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 no. Don't do. Listen, I'm on your side. I had those wheelchair ramps installed at three hours' notice. Do you know something? There's no disabled access at the Strand Theatre tonight because we've got the ramps. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a wheelchair and you want to see the Buddy Holly story tonight, it's closed now. Get it because yeah. you. Yeah. What? Yes. Buddy. Buddy. Has it? Yes. Oh, thank Christ for that. <laughs> Did you ever see it? I was about to see a bunch of bloody old songs. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend was in that for yeah. about 15 years. Thank you for and sharing your saw fairy it. story. Stay around, enjoy some mulled wine. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon and Liz Heron, a fairy story. <laughs> I just constantly seeing the same things on in the theatre, you know, year so in. So look at the painting there. Yeah. Does he ever talk about to these, his painting? I don't know. I think he did, and then we cut it. it. Just cut. Alan, this show is a success. Granted, there were one or two hiccups. That paint, the painting of him looked like sort of Jonathan Ralph or somebody like that. Who's that? Um, Who's that? Was he, sort of, is he in the office? myself, but... Is <laughs> <laughs> he see that bloke in the office who... Uh... <laughs> You're a rip-off merchant. You say it's a Christmas special, but you haven't even pulled a cracker. And to those people, I say, right, bring on the biggest Christmas cracker in the world. Oh, oh this God. God. This was Technical very expensive, nightmare. wasn't it? This was very expensive. Yeah. It, didn't something happen to it in rehearsal? Didn't it actually go on fire? Something? Yeah, there was yeah, some yeah, catastrophe. Yeah. There was something technical problem. Yeah. It was it's probably not the biggest cracker in the world, is it? It's 23 feet long. That's about the length of a small Chinese restaurant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for construction. <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there was a fire. Yeah. That sounds Armando. Like no, that was Patrick, I think. Yeah, I'm no good at judging. There's uh, Armando again. The designer's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. the bus not big nice. enough to get sort of No, no, just Dennis and... always asks every series if he can get his brother in at some point. He he um he checks into the uh, hotel in I'm Alan Partridge at one point. Is he in every yeah. 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 <laughs> Is he in everything that Dennis does? Not just I don't Partridge. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's not in the radio series of I'm Alan Partridge. <laughs> Maybe he is. Oh, we've forgotten about them. Yeah. Yep, there was a lot of people in the dressing rooms that it, day. It is a big Christmas special, isn't it? It's a big special. It? <laughs> oh, I like that little the run. shimmy. They're from they King's College School, Wimbledon. They did very they well. <laughs> Are they teenagers now? Yeah, they're probably not. Yeah. On your marks, get set. The force required to spit the cracker is the equivalent of a Land Rover. Winter it's a bit like Blue Peter, this, isn't it? Oh. When they have these yeah. things. Not much comedy involved in this element of the show, but... Yeah, now... But it all builds. Yeah. yeah. yeah but no, does. you're right. Where, where, where's the fire extinguisher? It's under your chair. Hey, it's under the chair. It's under my chair. It's under his chair. Put my face out. Put my face out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, we have had a crack of fire in the That was studio. probably three hours worth of work in the tent, yes. wasn't it? It does not constitute a complete snap, and we haven't broken the world record. Um, I suppose the lesson to be learnt from this is don't ever get your props and special effects made by White City Pyrotechnics. <laughs> because, and I'm quite happy to go on record with this, <laughs> White City Pyrotechnics are run by twits. <laughs> and, and Dennis's his brother. Dennis's his brother. Girl's name. <laughs> and he makes pyrotechnics like a girl. Shall I do the joke, Ellen? Um, no, don't do the joke, Father Christmas. Yeah, go on, <laughs> Father Christmas, give us all a giggle. <laughs> What make of car goes woof, woof. You can see a rover yes. through the... <laughs> you can see a rover yes. through the... <laughs> Help me out here, please. please. No, it's not a rover. It's a... A Vauxhall Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is. There's no such car. Yeah, yes, there is. My dad had one in the 60s. We had great times in the Vauxhall Labrador. <laughs> Right, can we clear this up? This little choir boy. Uh, well, well, they're clearing no. up. Is this the end of the show yet? <laughs> <laughs> Is it time for another now? Who would you like to talk about? What's going to happen about that dialysis machine? Um, it will just go back to the suppliers. How much does a dialysis machine cost? <sighs> about £20,000. Oh, and how much does this programme cost? 
That's none of your business. That's confidential information. £300,000. That, that, that's correct. Is that true? No, I think it was a lot less. Dialysis machines instead of making this program. I think if you asked the British public whether they would prefer 14 kidney dialysis machines <laughs> or an Alan Partridge Christmas special, the answer would be pretty unanimous, wouldn't it, Tony? Yes, I think it would. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks, uh, thanks, everyone, for a very entertaining breakfast bar chat. So qu quite a good section, that. That could be a regular feature in, in my show, you know, if, if we've got a second series. All right. On the first day of the I do like the way it just... Happens. Very good. It very just good. Happens. No link. Excellent. Christmas, my true love gave to me <laughs> Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree That's me on the third day I remember us trying to get a dialysis machine. Yeah. Oh, I love the French hens. Are they children? Or just more? Good girl. <laughs> just more. <laughs> it's still singing. It's just Buzzfeed Barkley, Tony. The Irene Choreography, isn't it? I mean, yeah. let's hear it for the Irene Hayes School of Dance. Well done. Well, there's a lot of people in this. But who should we? We had to cut quite a few of them who were waiting yeah. in the dressing rooms. They were mortified. Uh, <laughs> I think we wanted. I think the original <laughs> idea was to have eleven lords leaping or whatever it was. Yeah. Standing by, and you just saw them milling around, <laughs> yeah. waiting to come on. And, <laughs> Never been really called. Should have been cleared. It should, that should have been cleared. Um, I, I, I'm sorry I've had to abandon my, my, my big number, which, which is a shame because th there's there's still 28 people backstage in funny costumes. But <laughs> we're going to come on and dance. But um, what the heck? The show the show's still going well. I, I believe that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Christmas partridge. Uh, uh, is all that funny or is it just tragic? <laughs> no, I think it's funny. Is it? <laughs> Just chaos. That's very in vogue, though. What? Tr tragic. Dark. Yeah, it's dark. Funny comedy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new thing. <laughs> we were abreast of that way back in the early 90s. Yeah. What does your mother think of you? <laughs> very proud. Very proud. Go on, say something about proud now. Sorry? You know, about standing proud or something. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> You know, but I mean, I mean, like you know, like a like a man's member. Or something. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to encourage you. I just I'm, su I'm surprised you missed that one. That's all. I don't know what you mean. Go on, twist it, twist it. It's quite stiff. That's what they all say. No pardon. <laughs> no, no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Now, Alan, look. Here's the stuffing. Right? Good idea for a series. This character. <laughs> and I think Kevin Eldon's brilliant <laughs> in this. Just the right level yeah. of right up, annoyingness. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good, Kevin. He's a really good actor. <laughs> right up to the neck. Well, oh, that's enough. <laughs> Rude to point, Alan. No, I'm not talking about your finger. Oh, pardon. I, I'm not, I am not aroused. Mm, he thinks the lady does protest too much. I'll put a cork in it. Oh, well, I tried it, but it doesn't help. Knock it on the head. Oh, I didn't know you were into the rough stuff. Honestly, it's enough to make a girl blush. You're, you're not a girl. You're not a girl, are you? The, um, the the reproduction uh, house of his of his living room is a, an idea that was subsequently taken up by Gloria Hunniford for yes. real. This was. <laughs> this is a bit like Alan Ford saying, "Do you want a beauty contest?" Or what? <laughs> That's a bit of, we were running out of ideas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was based. Steve, to get back to your point about the Decorum. reproduction mm. interior, this was based on an old tape we were shown. Of a Russell Harty Christmas show oh, yes. that came from his court house, oh, yes. and he had the he had the Cambridge buskers with him. Oh, there's your big. Uh... Oh. Now I have to say that uh, that chicken didn't hurt at all. Yes. But in the I'm Alan Partridge series, when right. I was pushed in the face, well, when the cheese, cheese. was pushed in my face, the prongs of the fork Ooh. were just creeping through the other side oh, of the cheese. Oh, that's bloody dangerous. I could just feel them. Yeah. Love. It's a fully trained fall there. I'm yeah. handy. I'm handy. Do you want something? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mrs Potter? Do you want some big bird? Hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll never work in broadcasting again. It's very real. I'm not that <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me, Alan.
Alan Partis to say, knowing me, Alan Partis. That's the very last um, chat show chat one there ever was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so host is he host has never chatted again. <laughs> and I've, I've just been told Dr. Hook is not a qualified medical doctor. <laughs> uh, happy Christmas. And uh, oh, and here's uh, Mick Hucknell to sing Ding Dong Merrily on High. Aha! Ah, and it really Mick was. Hucknell. He was an Alan Partridge fan, wasn't he? He was, yeah. yeah. He is a big is fan. Is that how he turned up here? Yeah. Yeah, Steve had his number on his mobile. <laughs> but he was actually the only real celebrity person who ever appeared. Yes. <laughs> now, some people have said that he is singing out of tune here. <laughs> Nonsense. Now, I is think that... Steve Brown is playing out of tune. Yeah, that would be it. <laughs> Everyone... That doesn't sound out of tune there, but I think maybe the next one. <laughs> I think he's creeping up. Mick Hucknall loves me and Rebecca, has a picture of us in his study. Taken today, on that day. On that day. We weren't snogging him or anything, we weren't naked. Were we, we didn't go back to his dressing room as no. sort of groupies. Did we? <laughs> Dressed as we were. Yes. <laughs> There's a wig on. Very disappointing to hear that. It's difficult for Steve to keep going during this stuff. In a way, you didn't need Mick Hucknall. <laughs> Oh,